So our next question is also pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to need to convert 1.85, which is decimal, to a fraction. So first step, we're just going to write down our decimal. And for it to be a fraction, we need a numerator and a denominator. And we need to get rid of the decimal point. So, so one way of getting rid of the decimal point is to times it by 10. Because if we times it by 10, this decimal place is going to move 1 over to the right. And it's going to disappear. So if we times it by 10, we are left with 15. However, don't forget that the decimal also has like a zero, I mean a one at the bottom of it. So whatever we do to the top part, numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So if we're timesing the top part by 10, we have to times the bottom part by 10. Otherwise, the function won't be the same, or the value won't be the same. So if we times it by 10, that becomes 15. And 1 times 10 becomes 10. So now we have a fraction. Um, another way to think of it is that if we didn't times the bottom by 10, we basically are saying that 15 is equal to 1.5, which is not the case. So in this example over here, we are left with 15 over 10. We can further simplify this, and we will, because fractions are better when they're simplified. Um, we can divide both by 5. Here. And we are left with 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. One way to verify this if, and see if it's correct is you can just plug in 3 over 2 in your calculator and you're going to end up with the initial value that we had, which was 1.5 over here. So yeah, I'm just going to box this. Also, this is a mixed I mean, sorry, this is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. We can also write it as a proper fraction. So for us to do that, we just um, take the denominator and however many times it can fit in. So two can only go in three ones, so we have one. And then our remainder, so basically three minus two is one. So our numerator is 1 and over 2. The denominator remains the same. In order to verify this, what we can do is multiply the denominator by the whole number. So 2 times 1 is 2. And then we just have to add in the numerator. So basically, we're just timesing this and adding this to it. Yeah. Um, And that is also the correct answer. Is correct, and we're going to go on to the next question.